Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I'm taking my AMX50 Fosh for a spin once again. As you'll know from my other replays in this tank or from my review, I really really adore it. It's really absolutely amazing. There's not a single bad thing about it. Uh, it's just all round a superb tank. And I'll probably have to sell it to get Fosh 155. But I'm really going to miss this vehicle here because I just had such a great time driving it. So, a Leopard Prototype A on low health and we ninja the kill. <laughs> First kill in the game, but that we didn't really deserve that one. So, I realise they are firing at me, but what I try to do here is I try to camp behind the bush so that my camo net activates. But I realise that they didn't lose sight of me and that they're still firing at me. That obviously was the Yak Tiger back there and he got a shot through my front. So we'll quickly look where that penetrated. Uh, can't see because I'm behind the bush. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to hit the Yak Tiger there, but he's behind cover. So I decide to head down to uh, here and try to get some shots at the Lover and the T21. But they're behind cover too, as I realise now. But there's an M46 pattern, but he draws behind cover as well. So no target to shoot at at the moment. Um, now there isn't any artillery in this game which means that I can play very boldly because my frontal armor is amazing but RT really wrecks this vehicle because of its really bad side armor and rear armor. So an object 704 on low health we don't aim all that long because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get the kill <laughs> and yeah we get it but we kind of stole that kill too so we didn't we didn't really quite deserve that one. <laughs> Yeah, the Yak Tiger is at a very bad position for us to fire at him because uh, he's he's got his hold down he's hold down behind this kind of uh, fence or he was hold down rather now and um that meant that we couldn't really kill him but our allies got round behind him and finished him off. So a lover, he shouldn't be any problem for our 258 millimeters of penetration. I go for the side of his turret, which isn't angled all that well, or wasn't angled all that well in that moment there. And he tries to draw behind cover, but the Indian Panzer finishes him off just a second before I can pull the trigger. And that's a real shame because if I had managed to finish that guy there off, this would have been a Radley Walters medal game. But, uh, you know, you can't have it all, so. There's a Yak Pan for up ahead, but I can't get any shots at him. And as you see, there's a whole pile of enemy tanks in the city. And there's a KV-2 there. He could be a real big problem for us, because he's got this HE gun, and he doesn't give a shit about our 50mm of side armor. <laughs> so... I really have to be careful here and I'm going to try to finish him off there but I didn't aim completely, he tracks me, I'm going to lose against the KV2, oh my god, shoot again, miss again, okay this is a bit embarrassing here really, so now I decide to go for the Lover and that. Uh, the T-34, uh, 43 and I finish off the T-43. That was kind of lucky that we say shot just a second after the Yak Tiger did. So that was kind of lucky. And... Okay, am I going to go for the Leuven? No, I'm going to try to finish off this KV-2. And I miss again. Oh, this is just troll. And there's a KV-4 to my left side. Oh, I can't show that KV-2 to my side, otherwise it's going to kill me. And I miss again! I can't believe it, I just really want to get this kill, he's only got 36 health. Okay, take the Lova out of the game first, and that's my fifth kill. And we've got this game in the bag for scores, 11 to 5, so I think I've got him now, and yes, finally I take the KV2 out of the game. Was about time to, that guy was really pissing me off. So, T34. He's driving into battle with his rear first. I like that with enemies. So again, if I had stopped to finish that guy off there, that would have been a Radley Walters metal game. But 
I decided that my allies would be able to finish them off, so I decided to go for the E75 and the Tiger 2. And by now I've already got the top gun, so I cannot get to Radley Walters anymore by now. But I get the seventh kill, and that is nice. So, uh, in retrospect, that was a real shame. I really would have liked to get a Radley Walters medal, and if I had just shot a fraction of a second earlier uh, at that Lover, before the Indian pads did, I would have gotten it. And if I had decided to stay back there and finish off a T-34 instead of going after the Tiger 2 and then get the Tiger 2 afterwards, I probably would have gotten it too. So, a bit of a shame, but, you know, you can't have it all, as I said, and your 7 kills is fine. So, let's see some after game stats quickly. We got 54,190 credits and just above 2,000 experience on that game, but that was with a premium account. Without a premium account, we would have gotten 1,366 credit uh, experience. Sorry, uh, that's nice. And we got a steel wall, which is always nice, but I get those a lot in the AMX 54 because it's got this 180mm frontal armor angled very, very steeply, as you can see here. And we got the top gun because we got 7 kills. And you can see we damaged a lot of enemies too, like for example we damaged the Lover and the E75 as well, although we didn't kill those. And we enabled spotting damage to the Yak Tiger, although we never hit him. We came best on the entire team, dealing out 3,254 damage, which is not all that much really. But we got 7 kills. And this E50 uh, this E50 came just shortly after us, and after that came the E25, who played pretty well too. We fired 18 shots, of which 12 hit and 11 penetrated, and we dealt out 3,254 damage, I already mentioned that. We received 11 hits, of which only 5 penetrated and 6 didn't penetrate. For Tank Destroyer, that's quite a good ratio. We received 6,440 potential damage. That's amazing. I mean, considering that this vehicle's only got 1,550 health, that's amazingly much potential damage. We damaged 10 enemies, destroyed 7, and enabled 319 spotting damage, which isn't the world. We had to pay a lot of our money to resupply our tank with ammunition and repair our vehicle and yeah we walked out of that game with quite a bunch of experience so i hope you enjoyed watching this game as much as i enjoyed playing it if you did consider rating it below or even subbing to my channel it will mean a lot to me and i hope i'll see you in one of my next videos Bye bye